everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm maya as you guys can see by the title we are continuing with game of thrones today season four uh I'm, i think i'm gonna do two episodes um i didn't really have a lot of time to do like a binge like i did last uh like i did last time with like four episodes and i watched up to um like episode nine of the season of season three and everything like that i don't have time to do that again i have other videos to film today now in the previous episode we were introduced to prince oberon martel uh he is i guess intense i want to say like i he's, he's cute he is cute i like his character so far honestly just because he has a hate for the lannisters like you know i mean not so much Tyrion. Tyrion's obviously my favorite lannister but he has a hate for the Lannisters in general, which also I do, ex excluding Tyrion. So, you know, I'm like already on his side. Like he already has like 10 points with me. Also, I figured out, or we figured out while watching the episode that his sister was killed by Rhaegar, I think, or his sister was with Rhaegar or something like that. I don't remember, something like that. Um, I thought Rhaegar was with another Targaryen, to be honest. I thought, um, oh no, the Mad King is Daenerys' father. I just thought he was with another Targaryen, to be honest, because I thought that's what all of them did, like, they were all, like, together, you know what I mean? But I guess not. We were also introduced to a group that's now join joining the wildlings, uh, they're called Thens, and I guess they're cannibals, they're kind of scary because I remember, I watched that episode maybe like two weeks ago, they were eating people, they were eating a hand, there was a hand roasting. We have like this new, I guess, duo, if you want to say, like the Hound and Arya together. They're on their way back to, I think, the Eyrie to Lysa. So that's where uh, the Hound's taking her. But Arya, like, obviously she's going through something after what she just witnessed and what she saw. I saw, I guess, but she was there, you know, she knows what happened. So yeah, she's like on this killing revenge spree, honestly. I'm kind of here for it because I'm not saying that they don't deserve it. Obviously they deserve it. But I mean, dang, Arya is starting from now, and I feel like this is just not, it's not gonna end. Cause we already knew that Arya had like this type of personality, right? Like she wanted to fight and everything like that. And now that it's actually happening and I'm actually seeing it happen, it's just like, wow. Shay being caught by one of them, um, I guess, the ladies, I don't know what they're called, sorry, you guys can correct me, but her being caught, you know, after Tyrion telling her, like, multiple times not to be coming into the room because it's super risky, there we go, she finally got caught, and I don't know if I'm right about this, but I feel like it's kind of like a gut feeling, and I always go with my gut feelings that something bad is going to happen to Shay, just because I feel like that girl, she already went to Cersei, you know, so it's just a matter of time that something's gonna happen. Like, I'm just waiting for it at this point. But that's basically a quick little recap of what happened in the previous episode. I wanna jump right into episode two, The Lion and the Rose. If you guys like my videos, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit that post notification bell so that you guys never miss any of my GOT uploads. Full episode reaction will be on Patreon. I will leave the link in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and check that out. Discord link, social links will also be there. All right, on to episode two. Are they making him run? How can he even run? Wait a minute. This guy's fucked up. Mm. I don't want to see the meter. God damn. What the fuck did he What is he doing that for? This motherfucker's so annoying, dude. 
<laughs> Wait, isn't that one of the girls that was like doing that thing to Theon? Isn't that one of them? She thinks she's pretty. Let me put on your face. You have to reward the hounds, love. I didn't want You can see that your presence has become a good problem. <laughs> Okay, they didn't shot. Damn, that's fucked up, y'all. Yeah. Dang. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Theon. Yo, Ramsey's fucked up. Your new hat oh. is nicer than the old one. Try the ball. Cersei can't get enough of it since one killed Robert for her. Dang. A toast. To the proud Lannister children. The dwarf, the cripple, and the mother of madness. <laughs> I like Jamie's haircut. I mean, I like him with long hair, but this also looks really good. I can hold a sword. All my instincts are wrong. How can I protect the king when I'll bite my own ass? You're the Lord Commander. Is he really letting the Joffrey said get to him? Though? Others do the fight. When was the last time father used a sword? Train then. Learn to fight with your other hand. Hmm. You? Learn to talk. Well, I just ask you need a proper discreet swordsman. I have just the one. Braun. My brother tells me to keep your mouth shut. There's this knight, uh, Laygood. Got thunderbolts on his shield. Right here is where I fuck his wife. She's a screamer, that one. If they don't hear her, they won't hear us. I'm just taking in he's like 40 years old. Old warrior you are attacking a man when his guard's down. It's time to attack a man. Mm. Hey, mind yourself. I mean, use the fake hand. Oh shit. Use the fake hand. It's like gold and stuff. <laughs> It'll get better with time. Lots and lots of practice. Father, welcome home. Father, this is Ramsey Snow, my bastard. I'll have a look at him. He's like psychotic, I think. You took a hand from the kill slayer. Word travels. How he screamed. You would have loved it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I trained him. He was a slow learner, but he learned. You flayed him. The flayed man is on our banners. My banners, not yours. You're not a Bolton, you're a snow. Yikes. That's just gonna trigger more. Simon Lannister has given me stuff. the mouth. Theon was a valuable hostage, not your plaything. I wanted to trade him for Moat Kalen. You made me acting Lord of the Dreadfort. I acted. I don't know why, like, Bruce Bolton gives me, like, I had to smuggle myself maybe my kind of like Tywin vibes, just a little bit. Theon was our enemy. Reek will never betray us. I place far too much trust in you. Is he ever gonna get out of here? Go on, Reek. A nice close shave. Even though he did so much fucked up shit, Theon does not deserve this. Three. Did you murder the Stark boy? No, my lord. Just two farm boys. And crisp them so no one would know. Yes, my lord. They're alive. The Starks have always ruled the north. If Bran and Rickon are alive, you cannot... the country will rally to their side. Now yep. that Bob Stark is gone. Yep. Oh, that's right, Rick. Fuck, he didn't Bob Stark know. Is dead. Sorry. Mm. I know he's like a brother to you. Oh, don't cry, Theon. Knife through his heart. How do you feel about that? Even if he doesn't, he 
He's half Stark himself. Take the moat for the family. For our family. And I'll reconsider your position. God, just wants to God, please uh, daddy. Such a loser. I'm Sorry. Aren't welcome at such Fucking hate him. May you and my daughter Marjorie drink deep and live long. Handsome goblet, my lord. The whore I told you about. Oh, God. I'm a brought to the Tyrell before the wedding. Fuck. Why didn't she just listen? Now look. They're probably look. gonna kill her. The lives of four kings. Fuck every king should read. We should all find time for wisdom. Thank you, Uncle. What? I'm sorry, did that mean something? One of only two Valyrian steel swords in the capital, Your Grace. Freshly forged in your honor. Jesus. <laughs> now why the Fuck. Such a great sword should have a name. What shall I call her? Stormbringer! Cersei, you know what? We don't even have like Don't. <laughs> nope. Every time I use it, it'll be like cutting off Ned Stark's head all over again. <sighs> Fuck you, Joffrey. Oh, God, I can't. I can't with him. Honestly. I'm afraid our friendship can't continue. Our friendship? There's a ship waiting in the harbor bound for Pentos. Just go, please. What? My wife has suffered a great deal. I don't want her to suffer any more on my account. I yeah, need to like you dying? That would just break her. That would just, oh my god. It's like you said, I am yours and you are mine. You're a whore! Oh. Sansa is fit to bear my children, and you are not. Can't have children with a whore. How many men have you been with? Five hundred? Five thousand? Okay, we know that you're just saying this to get her to leave. <laughs> You'll have a comfortable life in Pentos. Bron will escort you to your ship. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, that wasn't funny, but ooh. he had to say all that though. She would have never left. Yeah, no. What the These fuck is going on here now? They're in a cult. Like, what is this? It is all burnt away. Did you see? I'm sure, they're more than grateful, my queen. He can't even say shit, or else he's gonna get locked up again. Perhaps the Lady Melisandre could speak with her. Mm. She's like, no. But okay, I guess she's Come doing in. it anyways. Did you watch the ceremony on the beach? I heard it. Sarex was my uncle. He was always kind to me. They're in a better place now, Princess. But they screamed. Afterward, they aren't ash and bone. You have so many questions, <laughs> don't you? Septon speak of seven gods. There are but two. A god of light and love and joy. And a god of darkness, evil and fear. There's only one hell, Princess. The one we live in now. Okay, that is dark. Yes. Are we in the eyes of a wolf again? One of the wolves? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. I was hungry. Dang. We're all hungry. 
hungry. I was just eating. Summer was eating. Your body can't live on the food your wolf consumes. Spending That'd be pretty sick if it could, though, like, dang. Must be glorious, though. To run, to leap, to hunt. If you're trapped in summer for too long, you'll forget what it was to be human. For real? You'd forget us, Bran. You'd forget your mother and father. You'd forget your brothers and sisters. You'd forget Winterfell. You'd forget you. Oh, dang. I don't know why I got cold just looking at them. It's one of the trees with the faces, no? Whoa. So many different things in just like two seconds. They're getting married already? Wait, this is the wedding? Oh my god, she looks so pretty. Oh shit. She's about to be the queen. With this kiss, I pledge my love. that she's actually on the ship and then you like pop off and you do some next shit. You look exquisite, child. The wind has been at you though. I haven't had the opportunity Why does to tell look calm? how sorry I was to hear about your brother. War is war, but killing a man at a wedding. Horrid. What sort of monster would do such a thing? As if men need more reasons to fear marriage. Any time someone talks about it, about it, it just makes that? Sense. Perhaps if your proper husband were to sell his mule and his Not last pair of shoes, he, he might be able to... Why do both of them look so, like, unamused? We are so fortunate to enjoy this marvelous food and drink. King Joffrey has decreed that the leftovers from our feast be given to the poorest in his city. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Wow. If that's not fake bitch energy, I don't know what is. So, you look forward to your wedding? Yes. Very much. That's yeah, when's that wedding again. happening? I'm excited. I keep saying this. If you were to marry Cersei, so she'd rather you go to sleep. Why is he doing that? None of this will happen because you'll never marry him. Why, Jamie? And neither will you. <laughs> he been new. Everybody knows, but he been new. That was a good one. I returned my brother safely to King's Landing. In truth, he rescued me, Grace. Hmm. Did he? Haven't heard that story before. What does she think that means? Sworn to Rennie Baratheon, sworn to Catelyn Stark, and now my brother. 
Ah. It must be exciting to flit from one camp to the next. Got it. Serving whichever lord or lady you fancy. I don't serve your brother, your grace. Do you love him? No. Do you? Brienne. No, I thought we had like a brother-sister vibe going on here. Not that she likes him. The kennels? The queen is telling you the leftovers will feed the dogs. Who you were. Shit. Small pleasures. Your Grace, Lord Tywin. Prince Oberyn. Oh, he hates y'all. This is the Lord Han Tywin Lannister and Cersei Lannister, the Queen Regent. I suppose it is former Queen Regent now. Lord Han, Lady Cersei. My lord. Bastards are born of passion. One day, wearing the crown for so many years must have left your neck a bit crooked. I suppose you'll never know, Prince Ogren. It's a shame your older brother couldn't attend the wedding. Please give him our regards. Like, so look, petty and shady. Like. In other places, the rape and murder of women and children is considered distasteful. What a fortunate thing for you, former Queen Regent. That your daughter Marcella has been sent to live in the latter sort of place. Yeah. Fuck. Oh shit. Everyone, silence. There's been too much amusement here today. A royal wedding is not an amusement. A royal wedding is history. My ladies. I give you That's kinda cool. King Joffrey! Are you serious? They even have the fucking dire wolf head. I, like Sansa just keeping a straight face. I can't. I seriously can't. of your own bravery on the field of battle. I speak Period. as a first-hand witness to new Valerian sword and show everyone how a true king wins his throne. My love, come back to me. It's time for my father's toast. Thank you, Marjorie. I really just want someone to fuck his shit up, yo. Feel it. Like, you're not tired of this? Like, can we move on? Kneel. Are you kidding me? Kneel before your king. Christ, thank God. What the fuck is his issue? Oh! There's a- there's a dead 
and burn. That's fine. Tell me my one. Can he just... Uh, uh, uh. Hi, Al. This pie is dry. Mm, good. He's washing down. <laughs> the weight here. <coughs> <I'm> <coughs> Your grip. <laughs> it's nothing. Is he? Is it the bird? There was bird in the cake. He's choking. Help the poor boy. Idiots, help your king. Maybe we don't help it. What the fuck? Dude. That's not choking. That's not choking. That. Holy shit. What is he reaching for? What is he reaching for? They're gonna think he did something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Oh, whoa. That was not choking. Someone poisoned him. He did not do shit. Poison my son. You kidding me. Take him! Take him! Take him! Holy fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this music is a little bit weird. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god. Dude. Dude. He's gone. The fuck? He's gone. He's gone. Ah, he's dead. Oh my god. Yo, I, I can't, like, what? First of all, who the fuck poisoned him? Because we all know it wasn't Tyrion. But who, what? That makes no sense. Someone had to have set him up. Because there's no way the irony that Joffrey asks him to, to be his cupbearer and then he gets poisoned by drinking something? No, that that is too that's just lining up too perfectly for me i that no no oh my god oh my god the way like jamie and cersei both ran to joffrey though like i saw that it was so quick like i feel like he didn't really see it like he has to be like really watching but like the way the way that they both ran to him like so quick like you know it's like parent instinct just wow and the guy um i noticed that too the guy that um gave santa a necklace i think it was in the previous episode episode one um he left with her like super quickly like said if you want to live like you know we we got to get out is she like finally leaving king's landing now like is that going to be like her her out maybe or is like i don't know maybe not because how is she how is she going to leave where is she going to go what's what's going to happen there especially now because Tyrion's getting locked up you know so what are they going to do to her wow 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 Wow, wow, wow. I mean, Marjorie got what she wanted. Now she's queen. There's no Joffrey. She doesn't have to deal with any of that. Damn. That is insane. That is insane. That's like next level poison. My man turned purple and then he turned like gray. Like what? Oh my God.
Okay, thank God we're watching the next episode because I ooh, we need to get into this real quick. Let's let's hurry up and get through this recap. Up north where Bran and Jojen and Hodor and I always forget the sister's name, but where they are, they um Bran was brought to like this tree or whatever. I forget what the tree is called. I know it has a name. But he like touched the tree or whatever and had like this vision of like things that it kinda looked like things that already happened, you know? But um that gave him like clues as to exactly where they need to go because I mean they were just like going north in hopes of like finding something, you know what I mean? But now they actually have, or Bran knows where he actually has to go to find the Three-Eyed Raven. I didn't catch that, but I guess maybe in the next episode we'll touch up on that. So I'm kind of waiting finally to see like what this whole thing is, like the Three-Eyed Raven, like what is how Bran's so important like to it and everything like that. And you know what it's going to do to help because clearly there's a purpose for this three-eyed rape. So in the beginning of the episode we saw a little bit more of Ramsey and uh, Theon. Theon is not doing too hot but um, I kind of got like the vibe from from Ramsey that he literally just wants to please his dad honestly and it's like like I don't know like daddy issues type like that's the vibe that I get from him and it's it's so annoying because that just makes the whole situation for Theon even worse you know that's that means he's just gonna keep torturing him and doing even more to him just to like you know please his dad or just out of anger and like whatever because he's he's his dad's bastard son and whatnot Theon did end up finding out about um Rob being dead and his face his shot the shock on his face literally broke my heart like everything happened so fast like you know like things were everything just happened so fast so people are just dying people are literally just dying like joffrey just died like what i mean thank god i was so tired of this shit you know i was so tired of this shit now it's time for um tywin i'm gonna need tywin to go i like tywin i do like him as a character but he planned rob's death so i'm not with it anymore i know Nope. I don't really know what Mo Caitlin is. Is that a place they want to take Mo Caitlin? Caitlin, sorry. I'm not 100% sure about what that is. So Shay did end up leaving, I hope. She was uh, sent on a ship or something to Pentos, I believe. And uh, I mean, I feel like now maybe she might have actually left because of what Tyrion said to her, and that would have like really upset her. Like we saw that it really upset her, and that would just give her more reason to not want to stay there. But at the same time, I feel like maybe she might know that maybe he didn't mean it. Like it just hurt in the moment. But I don't know if she actually got onto the got onto the ship and actually left. So I, I mean, I'm hoping that she did because I don't want to see her die. So I saw a little bit of uh, jealousy in Cersei right before uh, you know everything happened. But when she was talking to Brienne, I didn't think that Brienne actually liked Jamie like that. I seriously thought it was just like a brother sister relationship type thing that they had going on i never thought she would have actually like had feelings for him especially knowing that he loves his sister like she was there when he was saying all that stuff to cat when he was locked up in the cage about how he felt about cersei i would not want to get myself involved with that if i was uh brienne like that's just a million red flags right there i kind of feel bad because that's never gonna happen um i don't think jamie would ever see her like that i think jamie does care about her but not in that way now back to joffrey being dead uh yeah they got married and literally the same day he's dead i don't even know what to say i can't i can't I'm kind of, I'm happy, but I'm like so shocked as to like where, how did this even happen? Who poisoned him? This better come up in the next episode. It really better. Because I need to know who took this motherfucker out. This is insane. He's gone. And now what's going to happen to Tyrion? Oh my God. Okay, anyways. This was a crazy episode. I really want to get this episode three and I'm not about to be wasting any more time. So... I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you guys like my videos, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit that post notification bell so that you guys never miss any of my GOT uploads. And I will see you guys right now when I watch episode 3.